one hand and wheel like a pro. Well, I got tunes cranked up in there too, probably not to buy me set speakers for long. You're about the age where you can't have music loud enough in a tractor. Welcome back to Mid 10, y'all. As you can see, I cut a little hay again. Get a hay cutter cut up, set up here. Don't flip his over. He shut the gate. We're about to start cutting hay today. Sure, yeah. Now, no, we're not done buying the hay from the other day. Yeah, last night actually. It rained. It did rain some here last night. Not, not much. The ground's dry. But it's supposed to be dry the next four days as of right now. So we are going to cut hay this afternoon and see what we can get cut. Because hay is Thursday, so what we get cut today, in theory, we should be able to have bail before it starts raining again. So we're all going to run the hay cutters today instead of bailing hay. Because if we bail hay and cut hay tomorrow, there's a possibility that uh, we would not have everything bailed by the time it starts raining again. And we are close to being done with having everything cut. I think. I, I think we are. I, I'm pretty sure. Got one. This field. One, two, three, four. Four more fields to go. Uh, the cut. 40, 40 ish acres left to cut. I don't even know if we can get y'all cut today before it gets dark. We ain't gonna run until we'll run until dark and we'll stop. We'll do what we can today. It is four o'clock here, I don't know if I said that, but that's kind of the plan. Get going. We'll start a little sooner, but we hunt up the baler, hook a dismar up. I didn't find that that burnt clicking noise in my baler I've had for the last week that has frustrated the snot out of me. So I fixed that while I go every day Dalton built bent the shield and uh bolt or rubbing the chain. I finally found it. It's been a different spot. The sound was echoing through the bottom. I have not been able to find that click. I don't know if you guys have heard it on the video, but it's been a click that aggravated the snot out of me. So I found it. That's fixed. Finally. So, win for me today. Win win. If you ain't noticed, the window's close. Air conditioner's fixed. A lot nicer in here today. A lot quieter, too. So you probably hear me better. Later, first field done, which is good. Good time on first field done. We're going to start that field Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Uh, we're going to start cutting the next field out here. And the next three or four fields are connected, so we ain't going to get on the road, which will be good. I think Dalton's finally got comfortable with uh, the disc mower. Like he has a fighter. He's got about 150 acres under his belt now. Get comfortable with the tractor. I would like to look for a little more. Get a little more comfortable with everything going on with it. These next few fields, he got a bail, are going to be a learning experience for him. Because if you can't tell, I'm sitting on a slope. Uh, he's got two more fields to be flat. He wants that that all have field sides on, so he's got to learn. How, he's got to learn the uh, skill of bail placement. So he's going to stick kicking bales out. Because I roll, he's got to learn that, and he'll roll a couple off, I'm sure. But if you don't learn bail placement, you roll a couple off. Well, three fields done. Two fields done. Two fields done, three fields. Anyway, a few fields done. I got one, two, two and a half, two and a quarter more fields to go. I got a good spot to stop for tonight at 
Welcome back to Mid 10, y'all. Back at it again today in the Hayfield. Uh, got three rolls kicked out so far. It's uh, four, basically a five to a four. Took a minute to get the baler hooked back up, got for this far, hooked the baler up, grease the baler, then grease it for while I put it up at night and just blew it off. So that's why I like grease it when I get done at night. Grease it and oiled it, and we're in the field now. So I've told Dalton to pick it up a gear, and he has, which is good. This is dry hay, chip bail, fine. It's food, this it's field is relatively smooth. It ain't bad, it won't beat the fire out of you. Striking it pretty good though, it's good dry hay. Baylor's running good so far. First field done. And uh, he's moving on pretty good now. Uh, I started out five till, it's 4.35. So, about 40 minutes? Yeah, we'll go with 40 minutes. 40 minutes, he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 rolls, I think I counted, maybe. I don't know if I, if I can see them all. We'll get the next field right. I looked at that creek crossing. So running down the road, I may, I may take that creek crossing. So I go ahead and set ahead of him. I'll see, and I'll see if he can go through. If I can go through, he can go through it. And uh, that way, in case he has trouble, I can just drive back across the creek so I can run down the driveway, down the road, and back in here. I'm close to him still. I don't like it. No, I still don't like it far off, far off from in case he has trouble. He can fix it. He knows how to fix it. But I'm trying to help with it. At least he's flipping over good. Oh, it's a hay right there. Well, Dalton's caught up with me, which is good. But I'm about down this field here. So I think he said he had 37 rolls in the first field. Uh, 36, had 37 within the bother. Cause it is, he knocked that field out in a little under an hour, which is good. That's a good pace. I told him, I had him uh, slower down a gear. So I think he's only running like five and a half now. I'm <laughs> he was running on the other side of the creek over, other side of the fence over at another field. Like I said, this field is a little, a little rough. The next field's gonna be a little rough. So he's gonna have to back, up. back off for a little bit so I don't beat him to death and don't tear anything up. Get this last little inroads put in here, and uh, we will move on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna drive to the creek right here. I think you can come through here too. I'll let you know. But you need, when you come through here, make sure you have your uh, PTO off and the intake all the way up. I'll drive through right here. That one case you need something, I'll come back. Okay? okay. So let's see if we can sneak through this. I think we can. I drove through here uh, 30 years ago. Can I get through here? Can I get through here? Can I get through here? Yes, it'll fit. Oh yeah, it's on that, it's on that deep right there. Yeah, I could have brought this one off there. His limb's too low. Can I bring Baylor through here? I can't go through there. But they've been driving through here. Yep. Ah, uh, gets right up for Dalton. He is two fields behind me still. Don't see any dude come out the ground yet. It's just five o'clock. I hope he can get off this bottom. And uh, it's 534. I hope he can get out of here by 630 off this creek bottom and back on a hilltop. Uh, the ground's dried out really good. It's been windy today and sunny, so everything's drying out good. Mud holes are actually dry. First time in months right now. I'd like to see him get off this bottom before it tries to come in case on it. Now, I guess this will come in case quick around this creek in the shade down here. He just can't get no speed on these next two, on these two hill, two little fields here, because there's rough, or three fields. The field's counting one he's on two. There's a little rough. On a bright side, Dalton has gotten comfortable enough with the feather that he's 
And the pay is drying up, he's not had a fight with it. It is six o'clock on the dot. I'll holler, I'll get out of this hole over here and uh, holler dot on the radio and see where he's at. Actually, I'll be able to see when I get up out of this hole here if he's made it to the next field yet. I hope he has. Because I think he can bail all this by seven. I'd hope. And me off the creek bottom gut will come in case. I don't think he'll be able to bail this after seven. I think I'll start giving him trouble. I'd like to be done with that today. Woo! Tight fit through here. Tight fit. 710. And Dalton just called. Dalton just hauled up in radio, I guess I called. And uh, he's coming up here. And I ain't even paying attention to what I'm doing. plug it right up. There we go. So Dalton's coming up here. He's done on the creek, which is good. I want him off the creek. So if he's off the creek, we can put him on his hilltop, maybe we can run until dark. Maybe a little lighter. Uh, man, I'm marking the flat spots right now for an actual top of the hill. I've got one of the gullies right for me. And I got a hilltop right for him. And with that, we're done for tonight. So with eight o'clock, everything has been raked. Everything has not been bailed, but we're kind of at a good stopping point. So it doesn't sky, the ground's starting to get a little dewy. Since we're not close to being done, ain't no use of pushing and starting jamming by there fighting with it. We're just gonna call it right here. This last little pass I'm gonna do right here. And we'll come back and work on it tomorrow. Welcome back to Mid 10, y'all. By the end day, I'm all running by this morning for a minute. Been running for about an hour and a half. I'm bailing this uh, hillside stuff that I don't want to bail. A little, a little sketchy. So I'm going to get this stuff knocked out, and uh, this is what we had raked up last night. Finish this up. I'm on the worst part of it right now. Get this done, and then uh, we'll get the rake tractor back out and rake some more hay. They go from there. That's the plan for today. Well, missed the uh, missed half a string on one string. The string uh, missed the tie frame bundles on par. So we got the string cut off of it. We're about to unroll her down this hill here. I'm gonna roll it back up here in a second. Don't push it again. Unroll, good and crooked. We'll get a roll back up though. He runs in there like quicker now, dude. It's yeah, it's burping your leg, not forty your legs. He can do that. That happens sometimes. That's the problem with this bother. If you uh, miss a tie and don't realize that you don't string half the bell. Then uh, there's no string on half that belt. It's okay though. We got it unrolled and we'll pick her back up here in a second. 
go from there. And uh, I'm about to swap it off and let him drive for a minute. And I'm going to eat my sandwich. I ain't had my sandwich yet. Some of realizes that he realizes he ain't had a sandwich yet. We'll get his belt back up and we'll get something to eat now. Get Joe for it around. Professional high belt driver. Tell well, somebody broke a uh, couple blades on a disc mower right there. I think I know who did that. Wasn't me. Missed a couple spots if he did that. It's okay. Okay, we have made it off the other farm. And it is 2.15. Fuel the tractor up. Go ahead and fuel the commoter back up. Even though it's just on, on a burning quarter tank this morning, just so we can plan it to run. We can get everything full, we can run until dark tonight now. Restring to put more string in the back there. So, it's ready to go. And we're on to smoother fields now. So, don't know if they'll move on. I think everything we cut two days ago will bail. It looks pretty good. I think it will. We are sure enough going to try it, I'll tell you that. If it's supposed to rain tomorrow, we're going to try it. See what we can do. We may not be able to run until late, but we'll see what we can get done. I did go through it a while ago uh, because I planned on, I was trying to get through the first cutting to, and bail them before I started tight chains and stuff. I ended up this morning, I had time, we hadn't tightened chains up on her. I had took the main chain, I ended up tightening up, had a little slack in it. I ended up taking a link out of it, a link and a half out of it, and then uh, tighten up a couple other chains. It's finally starting to get where it needs to change tighten now. So, they were running those biters. About 1,600, 1,700 rolls to our Titan chains. Unlike that John Deere we ran, that John Deere you had to actually go to our Titan chain. This one's got string pressure on the chain, so the excess starts taking links out. <clears throat> Which isn't that bad because this main chain had three couplers in it, so it was made to be taken out. And then the other chain I took a link out of, I, I took a half link out of another chain the other day, it had a link and a half in it. So you just took a half link out and went on. So I went like it wasn't like I was having to cut chains. And just uh, taking some links that were in there out. The way that main chain looks, it looks like you take all three links out of it, then maybe time to replace that chain. And I gotta give Dalton credit. He's getting where he uh, he run the butter up now. He's he knows he knows noises and what to start to learn, what to look for in it. Only problem he's having right now is tying bundles when he puts when he puts a new bundle there, his leg just ain't long enough. That is kind of high. I'm six foot four, and I gotta kind of look over and to tie a bundle together. You ain't a, you ain't an average height guy like me. <laughs> it may be a little difficult to tie those bundles together. First bill's done. Hold on, Alexis. That stuff right here in this little gully. That's what we bailed. Well, not we. What we cut? Say Saturday. We cut that Thursday. Bailed it really nice. Uh, he's able to run. He's able to move on. Field's good and smooth. He's running six out miles an hour. I'm done raking. I'm gonna sit here a minute though and let him finish up or get close to being done. We've only got one bell left, maybe two. And I'm gonna head to the front. Uh, next field up uh, through the pasture that way. So I'm just gonna sit back here with him for a minute. Try not to get too far ahead of him. It's four o'clock here. I don't think we'll get it all done tonight. But I don't wanna get too much raked up. I just wanna kinda be with him and let him run his thing. As you can see, he's moving on. He's got a good pace set. He's, uh, of course, he's run. He's probably belt 500 rolls, about 600. He's probably belt 500. I'll probably put 200 in that thing this year. So he's probably got 500 rolls under his belt. And he's running a tractor a few hours now. I think that tractor's like 180 hours on it, so we put about 130 hours on it since we got it now. Get this field done, go up next, it bailed really good. Wasn't nothing green on the bottom, it's good. That's a good light green bale, it's perfect, it's nice. Bailed real good, looks good. Okay, you got a good tight roll right there, look how good that one looks right there. He's a natural. Now if I can just, uh, Swing me another one, tractor, and put the youngest one on it. 
Then I don't want to be Bell Hay no more. Send the boys out to cut rake Bell Hay. Won't be long. He's getting his timing down to closing the gate and getting the tractor moved again. We had that, had that talk with him a while ago when we was bothering about we make your speed running the bailer not driving fast. Driving fast helps. Especially when we run six and a half miles out, but you only can drive so fast. You make your speed bailing by getting the tractor moving again. As soon as you kick that bell out, close that gate, hit the button and wherever back up, and go. As you can see, he's got her moving on right there. One hand and wheel like a pro. But I got tunes cranked up in there too far and if I miss that speakers for long, it's about the age where you can't have music loud enough in a tractor. I'll be okay though. We're gonna work on uh Dalton's bell placement skill on his hill right here, if you can't tell. Cause uh you can't place that bell inside that hill. If you do it will uh, roll into the fence, into the road down there. So look at he got a roll. He's been either pulling out, putting him at the bottom, or going back up, putting him at the top of the hill. Every time he gets pulled. He's been taking him back top every time. It's your heels. I mean, heels, uh, not too bad, Steve. But yeah, if you don't place one right, it should roll off to the bottom. He learned that already. He placed one on top of her. Not the best position, but he rolled off to the bottom. So he had rolled one off. He'll figure it out. Last field. Last one. We actually don't get y'all built now. Good day, day. Good day. Besides a couple uh, missed ties for bundles being tied together, which with me. Because he's not tall enough for each time. I think he's had two of them. And rolling one off the hill, which he was able to get out. Successful day to day. Which is nice to see. Well, it's the last field here. It's 7 o'clock. We should be done with it before dark. Or by, we'll be done with it by dark. Maybe before dark. He don't run me down. I feel like I've been stopping on every field. And, uh, Letting him get close to being done before I move on. One, to uh, I don't want to get a bunch of hay all raked up and something happened to the baler and it's supposed to rain, 40% chance of rain tonight. Sorry, tonight. I don't want a bunch of hay to windrow. So I've been trying not to, uh, I could have been done with all this two hours ago, but I've been stopping and waiting on him just because I don't want to get way ahead of my hay in my hay in the windrow in case it does rain more. So we're getting this done this afternoon with any luck and start cutting hay again tomorrow. I just talked to Alex a while ago and he's got the combine almost ready to go. I believe we're done for tonight. Dalton's got like a 55 inch roll. He's gonna drive this grass here. I ain't raked yet. Cause I ain't raking this cause it may rain. He'll do better sooner here. He's gonna drive this a little bit, see if he can pick up enough to make a roll. Or uh, call tonight. Appreciate you guys joining us from our thumbs up video. If you ain't done it yet, hit that subscribe button. As always, good Lord's willing, we'll catch you on the flip side. Till next.